<clears throat> hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Let me welcome you to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija, where we attempt to talk about some of this mental, mental gymnastics that we are enduring, especially when we start talking about gaslighting and projection. And most of y'all know that have studied this stuff, that narcissists, uh, I'm not talking about, I mean, everybody got a certain amount of narcissism, so I don't like to use overuse that word, but I'm talking about the dangerous kind, the kind like Hitler, Jim Jones, Mussolini. I keep referring to these guys because there are some personalities so strong that they have the ability to uh, hypnotize people almost. Almost like it is when you go to a concert and see um, people engulfed with the talent of Michael Jackson, right? And he's like a god on earth, okay? He has the ability to move people with the energy that he possesses. And unfortunately for us, Michael Jackson used his power for good. He used his power to try to unite the people. That's why he could sing stuff like, I'm here to world and make it a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. There are people dying if you care enough for the living. <laughs> make a better place and make a better way. Am I right? Then you got people like Donald Trump, who's taking his power and he uses it for evil. Okay, um, and though he plays the the record and with, I'm proud to be an American. You know that type of shit where he's hugging on the uh, flagpoles and it's all propaganda. It's nothing serious about it. And anybody that got any kind of soul can see that it's all theater. It's all propaganda. You know, and the sick part about it is I don't know how people that are so um, ridiculously poor could think an elite person that has been rich all his life <laughs> is trying to do something for you. You so That's the most insane part about it all because all you got to do is follow the men's uh, track record and you can pretty much see what he's thought about people who are less than, okay? So, um, what it goes to show me is that a lot of you are just racist, you know? And we didn't, I thought we got farther than we had, and I that's my bad, as the young people say. My bad. I thought we were further along, and I really, really believe that, um, you know, and I don't want to. I want to continue to believe and have the hope and humanity that I have. And I realize that what Donald Trump's base is, but that does not mean that that is the whole, that is the society as a whole. And so I have to guard against thinking like that because um, I know what to do when the enemy comes upon me, but I can't um, react. Uh, I just have to stay proactive. And I think that that's the best um, outcome for me. So I'm saying that to say I read this article today. And it was in the Daily Mail. And it was written by your boy. I mean, it was an interview your boy gave. And he said that we're not going to have a country left in three years. America will come to an end before the 2024 election. Now, I've said that on many occasions. Um, and it's only because there's a fascist element on a planet and it's um, been made to take full front and center of our politics and I don't blame Donald Trump. I blame the original sin. I believe 
I mean, I, and I, I, I feel that because it was never addressed, and when the momentum was for change, and black people kept their foot, and brown people kept their foot on the gas pedal of justice, we made more stride. So we were hoodwinked and bamboos again, as usual. Giving trinkets, giving a little bit more money, giving drugs. And that kind of quelched the movement. That kind of quelched and slowed down the process of America being what she should be. And on her way to a more perfect union. It hindered that. It slowed that down. So... When I see articles like this, I'm just probably the first time I have to agree with this guy. So this article was written by Nikki Schwab, um, and she's a political reporter uh, for the Daily Mail. And it says, former President Donald Trump predicted that the U.S. would be over even before the next presidential election. In the latest dig at President Joe Biden, this has got nothing to do with Joe Biden. This has got something to do with us never addressing the racism on the planet, never holding people accountable, including the police officers that beat unarmed uh, black men, women, and children and kill them wholesale. The, uh, just the rigged criminal justice system, the lies before Donald Trump got there, um, it's just gone to a boiling point. So he said, our country has really gone downhill in the last eight months like nobody's ever seen before. And that's what Trump told his press secretary, Sean Spicer, his former press secretary. Call it into Spicer's Newsmax uh, show on Tuesday night. We're not going to have a country left in three years. I'll tell you that. That's what his crazy self said. And, um, of course, you got those on there that love to um, follow this clown. That uh, I can't believe that a, a normal society would want a freaking game show uh, TV host that snorts cocaine with Jeffrey Epstein to be the president of the United States. That's why I said we should stop focusing on here and really look for the marionette. Who is the puppet master in all this? Who is the uh, um, orchestrator? Who is it? How is it? And why has all this bad behavior been accepted and overlooked? Like, where was the outrage when he had the Muslim ban, you know, or saying that he was going to grab women by the, y'all already know, you know what I mean? Uh, talking about putting alligators and stuff uh, around those children that were, and people that were trying to cross the border. I mean, come on, building a wall, all these insane things, Call, coming down the elevator, calling people names. And American public is still now outraged. And I'm going to tell you, either there's more crazies in the planet or the people that consider themselves normal better go after their child. I mean, better go after their uh, country with reckless abandon and get rid of this fascist element that's on the planet right now because they've already got us in the civil war pretty much the only um the, you know i don't know except for all out anarchy every day what do we expect i just know that some of this stuff we got to get a hold to right away because this guy is told the truth for once in his life because all he does is lie but this right here Mm. I'm going to tell you, it was the truth. So help me God. 
we're not going to have a country left. Um, the ex-president wouldn't say if he would be running in the next presidential race, but strongly hinted that that was the case. Uh, why does the hell does he get to even run again if he was impeached twice? Can somebody out there give me that answer? Can somebody tell me why somebody has been impeached twice We and got ties to Russia and everything that's mad with the world? How can he be getting away with this? How come these people that allowed the insurrectionists to take over the Capitol on January 6th, how come nobody has been arrested in terms of the Congress? How come those records um, haven't been subpoenaed? How come it's dying down? I mean, I don't, I, it, it should be more fanfare. What is going on in America? Who wants this daily diet of bullshit? I mean, I thought it was going to be okay a little bit that Donald Trump is gone. But, hell, he's kicking up more shit not being the president than he ever was, just as much as he was when he was. So, what are we, what's up with this shit? What is it? I need to know. And I need to know who out there feel like me. Or am I gone, am I, am I gone, gone crazy? Have I, have I, have my uh, sl uh, cheese slid off my cracker? Huh? Because when your cheese slide off your cracker, you can't tell if you're on foot or horseback. And so I need to know. Anybody out there is questioning the same stuff that I am? Is this a crazy house or not? <laughs> I, I don't get it. <laughs> With that being said, if you like what you hear, please subscribe and share to the channel. I mean, and share the um, video. Please donate to the channel. Um, if you haven't already, please donate to the channel. I want to be in the process of uh, pulling down some camera, new camera, and just a new set. And that stuff takes um, donations. So, it's a pretty many... Uh, even though YouTube takes a lot of my subscribers and comments and every damn thing, but it doesn't matter. Um, I know there's over 2,000 of y'all in here, and so it would be nice if everybody could donate something to the channel uh, so we can continue this grind and make it come more alive. That's what I think. Um, so, with that being said, Please use the email at mentalhousetv at gmail.com. The mentalhousetv at gmail.com for any um, suggestions for a program or any comments that you just want to make to me that are not, um, that you don't want to put on the, uh, on the comment. Okay? So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.